pleasant good morning to you. God is so good to us again. Uh, I hit this point. How did teacher Jesus treat Judas? You know? Now, this is relevant because the focus is on teachers. Uh, now, in Matthew chapter 26 and verse 25, it says, uh, Then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? He said unto him, Thou hast said. Now, making the comparison in terms of Jesus the best teacher and how he treated Judas is relevant for us teachers, for all teachers listening. Now Jesus did not tell the other classmates of Judas, Judas' fault. Jesus knew Judas' fault. He was covetous. But Jesus did not reveal that to the other classmates because that could have embarrassed Judas. Uh, then Jesus allowed, teacher Jesus allowed Judas to stay in school in spite of his bad behavior. And that is because Judas' bad behavior did not affect the behavior of the other students open because it wasn't something open. So Jesus, the teacher, allowed Judas to be in class still. Uh, then Judas himself as a student pushed Jesus to reveal Judas' fault. Only then did Jesus do it. And Jesus did it with the intention of Judas making a double circle and making a decision to change his behavior. Uh, then, uh, when teacher Jesus could not do anything else, he tried his best through compassion to Judas. But when he could do nothing else possible to change Judas' behavior, only then did Jesus break confidentiality, only then. So teachers, remember, as I have made these points, mirroring the behavior of Jesus Christ, the best teacher, with how he treated Judas, his worst students. Uh, teachers, please remember that in spite of whoever is your worst student, try your best not to embarrass them because it can very well be that when you reach out to them with compassion, that student may change their behavior. God and Father, help some teacher today to try their best in spite of how terrible a student may be or how badly behaved a student may be. Help some teacher today to try their best to still treat that student in a good way mild and compassionate manner. Guide us as we go through the day, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you. Great is thy faithfulness.